You hear that sound? Yeah. Yeah, it's called tinnitus. If you can hear that, you might have damaged your ears. So I've had tinnitus for a very, very long time. I've talked about it a bunch in my videos, on my streams, anywhere in my life. I just love talking about tinnitus. You know, I'm just quirky like that. If you don't know what tinnitus is, it's that ear ringing sound that you can hear. Um, if you've ever gone to like a nightclub or a disco or any sort of loud event, like a concert, and then afterwards you can hear that ringing in your ears, tinnitus is when you can hear that all the time, basically. You can either damage your ears, or it can be like an auditory sort of sensation or phenomenon that you can hear, that your brain is just kind of like making up the sound, so to speak. Along with the myriad of health issues that I talked about in my end of year vlog, tinnitus is one of them, but tinnitus, tinnitus is not that, or tinnitus? Tinnitus. Tinnitus? I'm gonna keep saying tinnitus. I don't care about all you tinnitus people. Tinnitus. But I went and got it checked out because I was wondering if I actually damaged my ears years ago when I used to play the drums. I, I've had it ever since I was like 16 to 18-ish. I remember hearing it for the first time when I went to bed after not being near anything loud. I was lying there and I could hear... Yeah, that. <laughs> I, can still, I can hear it right now if I just stay silent. And I can hear it all the time, all day, every day. So I want you to hear it too! So I'm going to go to some website where we can sort of figure out what my tinnitus sounds like. Or should we take a hearing test first? Free online hearing test. Let's go. Uh, the Resound sound online hearing test is a quick way to gauge how well you're hearing. So, I've gotten a hearing test done before. I got it done last year. Apparently my hearing is fine. I don't have anything wrong. I do have some sl very, very slight damage to my hearing where I can't hear certain ranges anymore. But that's what happens when you bang big bad bongos all day without any hearing protection on. Protect your ears, please. It's very important. Ugh. Isn't it so weird that now when I do a hearing test that I'm in the 30 to 40 age bracket? Maybe that's why my hearing is fucked, because I'm an old man! Uh, headphones, please. One, two, three. What? One, two, three. What is happening in three seconds? All right, how the test works. You will hear different combinations of words first and then numbers always in groups of three while background noise varies. Select the three things you hear by selecting the corresponding icon shown to the left. If you get distracted and miss one of the words, you can simply press replay to have the last combination repeated. Ah, oh, okay. If you're using headphones, the test will be done for both left and right ears. Oh, start the test, baby. Choose the words. Bells. Chair. Cat. Ooh, Bells Chair Cat. That's my rapper name as well. Choose the words. Chair. Hand. Book. Oh, this is gonna get hard, isn't it? This is like Simon Says in Among Us. Chair. Hand. Book. Choose the words. King. Cat. Hand. King. Cat. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. I'm gonna sneeze. I'm allergic to hands. Choose the numbers. Oh. Five, three, seven. Five, three, seven. That's easy. Um, this is like when I did the colorblind test. I've done a bunch of tests on the channel, by the way. You can go back and look at all of them. Colorblind tests. Personality tests. Choose the numbers. Five, four, six. Oh, was that a six? Five, four, six? Ugh. Choose the numbers. Oh, uh, it's actually triggering my tinnitus louder. Hearing the white noise is actually making my ears ring a little bit more, and then when it stops, it just like fades out. That's so bizarre. Choose the words. Hand. Tree. Cars. Okay, hand, tree, cars. This is going to be interesting as well, because for my tinnitus, I hear it in my right ear more than my left ear. Which... I think I was told that that's a good thing. If I hear it in both ears, then it could be something in my head that's causing it. But, again, 
I went, got a hearing test, I got an MRI scan on my head and my brain and my ear nerves, and apparently there's no physical damage done, so my brain is just pranking me 24-7. Choose the words. King. Cat. Hand. Okay, king, cat, hand. Choose the words. Cat. Tree. Bells. Ooh, that, that got more difficult. King dog cat. I think this is the last one. Choose the numbers. Oh. Seven, four, six. I think we're doing good. I th I don't think I've actually missed any yet. But again, like the colorblind test, people could be like, Jack, that was a five, not a seven. Choose the numbers. Four, three, five. Four, three, five. Choose the numbers. Three, seven, two. Three, seven. Ah, seriously, do any of you have tinnitus that are, like, able to hear your tinnitus louder after that? It was 372, right? Choose the number. Four, eight, three. Okay. Here, I have to put in stuff? My result, no hearing loss. Recommendation, no need for further action. Oh, because you sell hearing aids. Oh, I didn't even realize. Your result, the hearing test indicates that you do not currently have a hearing loss. For a more in-depth hearing examination, we suggest that you consult a hearing care professional. Okay, I've already done that, so I knew that I didn't have any hearing loss. And the test I did was I went into a soundproof booth, put on headphones, and then had to click a thing every time I heard a frequency. Uh, my right ear dipped on one of them. I don't know what frequency that was. Um, but... I was able to figure out that I don't have any hearing loss. And the MRI then proved that I don't have any physical hearing damage. So the tinnitus that I have is perceived sound. So it's like, the way the guy said it to me was that I, your brain it makes all these noises. It makes like electrical signals as the synapses fire and trigger things in your head. And your body's making all these sounds all the time. Like when you breathe, when your heart's beating. Like sitting here and listening, can you hear your heartbeat? No. If you can, that's not... I don't think that that's a problem either. <laughs> but hearing your own heartbeat is something that your brain and your ears tune out because it's going all the time. So it would be distracting if you could hear it. So your brain learns to tune it out as well as some of the sounds that are going on inside your head and your body. But what happened to me is that my body switched over from subconscious to conscious audio. So now I can just hear that ringing all the damn time. So we're gonna try and figure out what it exactly sounds like. I think there's some tests I can do to figure out exactly what my tonight sounds like. So you can hear what I hear in my head. And if you can hear this all the time, it likely means that you have tinnitus. Ooh, tinnitus matching. The audiometric way to determine your tinnitus frequency. This is going to be awful, all right? So, just a warning now. You're going to hear a lot of... <coughs> but let's face it, there's, there's no difference in listening to any of my other videos. Because I've given you all hearing damage already. Ha, you're welcome. I am wearing my headphones. I am in a quiet area. I've set a sufficient system volume. I closed all of the program. Okay, perfect. Okay. In which year does this uh, was this test on up here? Oh. Did you guys hear that? High volume can damage your ears. Oh. Oh. Ah. Ah. What is that? Is that a D? Uh, perfect C? Uh, I heard that in my left. All right. On which side do you hear your tinnitus? So, I, I think it's in my right ear more. Yeah. If I was to locate it, I'd say it's kind of like up here. Kind of up and back a tiny bit. Kind of like here area. So, uh, tonight is more on the right ear. All right, let's hear. Oh. Oh. All right. Okay, it's not too loud. Oh, Jesus. All right, wobble. What is happening? Please compare tone A and tone B to your tinnitus. Therefore, use either but Oh! So I can play it and see which sounds more like mine. Oh, mine is definitely higher pitched than that. It's definitely more like that. 
Uh, B sounds more like mine. Wait, what's wobble? <laughs> I guess you kind of have wobbly tinnitus. All right. Oh, I oh oh, that's more like my one. Oh. I can actually hold it. Oh, good lord. That's- that's it. That's it. That's pretty much what mine sounds like. Maybe a different- We'll keep going, but that's close. Yeah, B. B for sure. Oh, that's really high-pitched. What's weird about this is that I can kind of hear it, but then I can't. It kind of fades out. But I can see on OBS that I'm actually recording sound. Does that mean that it matches mine? Because it, it just blends in, or does that just mean it's a frequency outside of my range? It kind of sounds like it, actually. I'm gonna go with B on that one, even though it's... Oh yeah, I heard that for sure. Yeah, baby. Alright. Oh god, this is awful. I'm gonna have to, like, decompress after this. I can barely hear that. Maybe I should do a frequency range test as well, just to make sure. I can't hear that. Can you hear that? There's... It's showing that sound is showing up. I can't hear that at all. Some dogs are going crazy somewhere right now. Well, it's gonna have to be A, because I can't hear B. <laughs> oh, that's far closer to what I hear. Not that loud, of course. It's not, like, beaming out of my head like that. It's not... At that distracting. It's just it's more of a thing that when you're doing something you kind of forget about it But it's when you go to bed and everything's quiet and you're trying to sit there and fall asleep You hear it so loud and then after a few months and after like a year my body just kind of tuned it out again But it's still there if you focus on it. Oh Oh my god, that's it That's basically it Holy crap! Successful! Result 1, 12,700 hertz. Result 2, 12,700 hertz. The test result could be wrong due to a psychoacoustic, psychological, and or technical factors. Please get a medically- okay. So my tinnitus is this frequency? My tutor, boost your oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Hey YouTube, YouTube how about now, not you? blaring your ads, especially on stuff that's supposed to be, like, properly listened to? Oh! No, no, no. That's it. That's it. That's basically exactly what I hear. All the time. Holy shit. It's like the more you listen to it, it kind of fades out. When you hear it immediately start, it's really loud. But then the more it kind of plays, the more it kind of like fades out and you sort of get used to it. So if you hear that all day, every day, your brain kind of tunes it out after a while, but it's there if you really focus. Oh my god, that is so bizarre. But that's 12,000. Mine is 12,700. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, 12,700. Alright. Uh, play? That's it. That's it. How loud is that for some of you at home right now? Oh my god, that's it. I'm so sorry if this is actually like really 
uh, prominent in your ears right now. <laughs> For me, it's like, oh, I can just about hear it, and it's like what my ears can hear all the time, or at least this ear. But for some of you, that might be absolute agony to hear. If you have pure tone tinnitus, this online frequency generator can help you determine its frequency. Knowing your tinnitus frequency can enable you to better target masking sounds. Ooh, frequency discrimination training. <laughs> Why does that sound really wrong? Oh, oh god, that's so... That fucked in my ear. This is a different test. Uh, different or same? Uh, can I turn down the volume? <laughs> Same? Right? Okay, Jesus, I need to turn this down. Same? Okay. Different? Same? Same? Different? Same? 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 Oh! Oh! I should have known that. God damn it. Different. What is the point of this? <laughs> A lot of the app, although the app is based on reasonable scientific hypotheses, so far there's no conclusive evidence that it is eff effective in reducing tinnitus. Wow. Okay. So this is showing how it would work. It, tonal frequencies and what they can do to your brain are crazy. If you've ever done um, like binaural uh, therapy, you can listen to things that have like sounds that go like back and forth, like binaural therapy, and it can bounce the sound left to right in your brain. And it can really help with stuff like PTSD or just help you with like anxiety and worry and those things if you focus on something as you're listening to it. Um, you can look it up, like binaural therapy. I can't remember what it exactly it was called. Um, but I, I did it for a while, and it really helped. You'd be surprised. Your brain It's like tricking your brain into doing something, and I don't know what that is, but all I know is that it worked for me. But yeah, I'm gonna look into this to see if it's gonna help my tinnitus in the future. Very interesting. Let's listen to my tinnitus again, shall we? Is it... Oh, I can barely hear it now. There it is. There it is. Lovely. My- it's basically my brain is screaming at me all the time. Isn't any wonder that I yell and I'm all over the place. Okay, last thing I want to do is to see how- what frequency I can actually hear. Um, so we're going to do how old is your hearing? Uh, as we get older, our ability to hear high-pitched sounds decreases. The younger you are, the higher the frequency you can hear. Take this test to find if your hearing is older or younger than you are. This is going to be interesting. Um, if it matches up with 30, then I guess my hearing range is fine. Um, but now that I am getting older, I remember being younger and somebody, uh, having something on in the background and they didn't hear it. And I was like, God, what is that sound? And they were like, I don't hear anything. So some of you might be able to hear this. Uh, differently than I can. So this might get annoying though. I don't know how this works. Press the start test and then as soon as you can no longer hear a sound, hit the- Oh, okay. Oh, sweet Jesus, this is annoying. Ah! I can still hear it! Oh? I can't hear anything. My hearing age is 42! The maximum frequency you can hear is 14,125 hertz. Dude, isn't it 20 to 20,000 kilohertz? Or 20 to 20,000 hertz, uh, 20 kilohertz, that humans can hear. That's like the hearing range of like peak ears. My hearing age is 42? I do not accept that. I want a different test. It says that 15,000 hertz is difficult for anyone over the age of 40 to hear. 12k is over 50. 17,400, uh, only teenagers can hear. Most people over the age of 18 cannot hear this tone. Okay, well, let's see if I can actually hear anything. Uh-oh. I, I can't hear that. 
I legitimately can't hear that tone. I can when I click play, I can kind of sense that something is playing, but I can't hear it. Oh my god, how many of you could actually hear that at home watching this video right now? So I guess anything over 15 kilohertz, I can't actually hear anymore. Despite being almost 31 very, very soon, I can't hear anything that a 40-year-old can't anymore. Oh, man. So, there, clearly there's something different about my ears. I'm just built different, guys. I have tinnitus, but... A lot of it probably did come from actual damage I did a while ago that... I'm, I mean, I don't know how any of this works. Maybe it healed, maybe I just did damage and it's not too bad. But I did play drums years ago for like four years, every single day. And sometimes I would play without any sort of ear protection on. I would go to concerts. There was one concert specifically I went to in England that we were in this like little tent and some band were playing and I was right next to the speaker and it was coming into my right ear and it legitimately hurt my eardrums to listen to. Like it wasn't just like, oh, that's kind of loud. Like I could feel the pressure in my eardrums and had to like go like that. But I was too afraid of looking like a coward for heavy metal music because I was so cool and heavy metal music was all I cared about and I was drums and shouldn't I be into this? But I should have just protected my ears. I should have brought earplugs. Please protect your ears. And it's very, very important. I see so many people go around blaring music in their headphones and you can hear it as you walk by them. And I'm like, you are doing so much damage to your ears that will come back to bite you in the ass later and really annoy the shit out of you older in life. So... Please just protect your ears. They're very, very important. Um, but yeah, that was my tinnitus, apparently. I'm at 12,700. If only my tinnitus was up in the 15k range and then I wouldn't be able to hear it. Anyway, hopefully this video was interesting in some sort of fashion. I find the educational purposes of stuff like this fascinating. Um, because every time I bring it up and mention it, there's always people that say, Oh wait, I hear that. Does that mean I have hearing damage? It could mean many different things. Um, you might only be perceiving sound and you're not actually... Uh, you don't actually have any damage to your ears, because what I used to think it was... Um, maybe I just heard this a long time ago, was that the little hairs inside your ear, is it inside your cochlea in your ear? That they have, they have tiny little hairs that react to sound and the fluid moving in your ear and stuff, and that's how you get motion sick, because you... Whatever, this is a long topic. But I used to think that some of those hairs were like broken, or something in my ear was like broken, so it was like perceiving sound, like it was triggering a specific frequency over and over again. But it, that wasn't actually happening. Um, and then getting my ears checked and everything, and seeing that I have no physical damage to my ears kind of changed my perception on that. So I don't know what it is, but it is there. And I've heard that it gets a little rougher the older you get. So any of you tinnitus people out there, we're part of this group. Tinnitus, asthma, acid reflux, digestive problems. We're all in it together, lads! But anyway, since I brought up the tinnitus stuff in that video at the end of the year, a lot of people were asking about it, so I just thought it'd be fun to do a sort of... I've done tests for, like, my eyes and things like that and personality, so I thought hearing I haven't done one for, so it was fun. I Hopefully some of you got something interesting out of this and maybe you can go look up topics and read up more about all of this stuff, because I find it fascinating. Um, and there are ways of kind of counteracting it that I'm going to talk to my audio person about whenever pandemic is over and I can actually go see people in person again and talk to them about it. Um, and then progress through, like, hearing therapy to try and reduce the sound of it. It has gotten better, though, and I've, my brain has gotten better at, like, tuning it out, so it's not really as much of a distraction. But man, for, like, a lot of 2019, that was really bothersome. And it really started to affect me, and it was affecting my sleep and everything, but... It does get better, and it can get better, and it has the potential to be better, so... Hang in there, if you can hear sounds in your head all the time. If you've just heard something loud, and you watched one of my videos at full volume, then you might just be recovering from that, and you might not have tinnitus at all. Haha! <laughs> okay, bye now!